Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pathology medium robins genetics a chapter single gene disorders ab tak hum discuss kar rahe the and we discussed uh, all of them what were mentioned in medium robins and today we are going to start a very interesting topic aur ye jo pura topic hai that is uh, uh, going to be more sort of a philosophical paragraph but ek important concept through hai yahan pe genetics ka and the concept is complex and multigenic डिसऑर्डर्स देखिए इस बात को समझना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स के लिए कि वेन वी टॉक अबाउट सिंगल जीन डिसऑर्डर्स तो वी टॉक अबाउट स्पेसिफिक्स और स्पेसिफिक से मेरा मतलब यह है कि जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल वॉट एवर डिजीज वी हैव स्टडीज वी हैव डन फॉर एग्जाम्पल ये मेरे सामने की लिखी भी आ रही है वन गेयर की डिजीज नाउ दिस डिजीज इज कॉज बाय म्यूटेशन इन अ वेरी स्पेसिफिक इंजाइम अ वेरी वेरी स्पेसिफिक इंजाइम राइट बिकॉज दोज म्यूटेशन विच आर प्रेजेंट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डिजीज दे आर एसोसिएटेड विद वन इंजाइम एंड दैट इज हेपेरिक ग्लूकोज एक्स फास्ट है सो वी नो दैट दिस इज द वेरी स्पेसिफिक थिंग विच इज गोइंग टू बी अफेक्टेड and this will cause a very specific disease so usually one gene one uh, nucleotide change or one specific change in the genetic code and one specific disorder so that's what is the concept of single gene disorders acha multi genic disorders is the name se zahir hai ye dekhiye multi genic so there is multiple genetics involved and there are so many diseases like this so ye jo pura paragraph abhi hum padhenge isme koi ek disease ki example to di hogi but sara spectrum covered nahi now there are so many disorders which are multigenic not only that they are multigenic we also call them complex particularly if there is a genetic susceptibility ek to genetic susceptibility aur genetic susceptibility bhi koi single gene nahi hai there are multiple genes which are affected multiple genes which have a role to play and plus there is also environmental factors which actually contribute to the genetic changes iski kai sari examples hai so i can share a few examples for example so let's talk about um, esophageal cancer right now esophageal carcinoma is uh, obviously caused by we know there are certain genetic mutations which are associated with esophageal cancer but then we also know that there are certain dietary patterns so dietary patterns are what environmental issues there are certain dietary patterns which are associated with esophageal cancer now let's take an example um, now let's take an example of uh, an asian country say for example we talk about pakistan right now in pakistan there are different territorial regions so one of the territorial region is uh, the uh, kp which is called khyber pakhtunkhwa and there is another territorial region big one which is called balochistan now people living in these areas they consume a lot of uh, meat particularly in the form of barbecue so what they are doing is and and when i say a lot of meat that really means a lot of meat because uh, this is now normal thing in their diet to have barbecues and tikkas and kebabs and all these things now these barbecue uh, products are associated with different chemicals nitrosamines and what not and also free radical generation so when they consume uh, heavy amounts of barbecued meat particularly le- uh, red meat lamb and beef and all these things right so their esophagus is constantly being infused with all those chemicals and free radicals which are going to affect the cellular structures and the cells start uh, misbehaving and if there is a genetic susceptibility so for example if these patients already have uh, a p53 mutation and then there is an environmental trigger as well so that is the dangerous combination for development of esophageal cancer so that is a very good example of a complex multigenic disorder right another a very good example of multigenic uh, disorder would be diabetes mellitus right now we know a lot of i would say tens and hundreds of genes which are known to be associated with development of diabetes but then there are environmental factors as well so for example obesity is one single uh, heavy risk factor for diabetes now if you are obese you have insulin resistance and then you are prone to get diabetes mellitus now obesity is an environmental issue also it is genetic issue so it's not purely environmental so there are genes which are associated with obesity there are genes which are associated with diabetes and then there are environmental and dietary habits and patterns so all these things combine together 
they um, they lead to diabetes right so there is no single gene which we say okay, okay is gene ki wajah se diabetes ho raha is gene ki wajah se problem ho raha there are so many genes and then there are so many environmental factors so that's a very good example of a complex multigenic disorder so now my point is that there are several disorders uh, in the world that we live in which are complex meaning that they have genetic as well as environmental component and they are multigenic which means there are multiple genes involved so that is the basic concept that i want to uh, you know uh, buzz into your minds that please remember that what we have discussed up till now were single gene disorders right we know that that's the enzyme deficient if this is the particular disease right we know the mutation so specifically but in complex multigenic disorders we don't know and there's so many example I gave you an example of cancer I gave you an example of a metabolic disease diabetes uh, there are others so for example there are so many neurodegenerative disorders so there are so many neurological problems which are complex which are also multigenic right so let's go through the text complex multigenic disorders are called multifactorial there are many factors involved or polygenic disorders as they're caused by interaction between the genetic as well as the environmental factors so it should be very clear to you now a genetic variant that occur in less uh, in at least one percent of the population is called a polymorphism so if you have like 10 individuals living so uh, these are all individuals so funny way of drawing individuals by the way let's make four more right four more so that's the number 10 and if one person of them has a particular mutation which is associated with the disease then the gene is known to be polymorphic within the population okay right uh, with a modest effect and low penetrance are co-inherited now according to the common disease common variant hypothesis a very important one to understand uh, what what does the hypothesis actually say the complex multigenic disorders occur when many polymorphisms each with a modest effect and low penetrance are co-inherited so for example the person with a polymorphism marries another person with the same or similar polymorphism they marry together it is then concentrated and then the disease happens and this is what we call um, the common disease common variant hypothesis right although complex disorders result from collective inheritance of many polymorphism different polymorphisms vary in significance there's so many polymorphisms around in the population for example 20 to 30 genes implicated in type 1 diabetes and six or seven are most important and few so there are so many and out of those so many there are some which are strongly related so this is something that you can easily understand not a big deal okay now some polymorphisms are common to multiple diseases this is also interesting ke ek known uh, snip hai jo ke one person of the population mein hai and that is what we call the uh, polymorphism and this polymorphism is not only associated with say for example diabetes also associated with this disease this disorder this disorder and multiple and it goes on and gone on and on these things uh, happen right now um, uh, many of the disease associated polymorphisms are in non coding regions, so they are likely, uh, you know, uh, to be involved in the epigenetic pathway. That's very interesting. We had a lot of time that the genetic system, the whole genome, composed of coding region and non coding region, and the non coding region is all junk. We actually use this word for a long time junk DNA. हम समझते थे सिर्फ जो कोडिंग रीजन है ये प्रोटीन बनाता है और सिर्फ यही हमारे लिए इम्पॉर्टेंट है रेस्ट एवरीथिंग इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट टू अस राइट बट फिर पता लगा जनाब ये जो जंक डीएनए है दैट इज एक्चुअली आल्सो इन्वॉल्व इन कंट्रोलिंग द कोडिंग रीजन सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स नॉट देयर फॉर नो पर्पज इट्स देयर फॉर अ पर्पज ओके तो यहाँ पे ये बात हो रही है कि बहुत सारी जो पॉलीमोफिजम है वो एक्चुअली नॉन कोडिंग रीजन में होती हैं राइट सेवरल नॉन फिनोटिपिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर गवर्न बाय मल्टाइजेनिक यहाँ पे कुछ नॉर्मल एग्जांपल्स दे रहे हैं विच आर गवर्न बाय मल्टाइजेनिक डिसऑर्डर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर कलर आई कलर दीज आर नॉट सिंगल जीन थिंग्स इंटेलिजेंस हाइट कलर दे ऑल मल्टाइजेनिक ट्रेड्स राइट एंड दे आर एक्चुअली नॉन एज क्वान्टिटेटिव ट्रेड लोकाय लोसाय भी कहते हैं इसको बाज लोग डिपेंडिंग अपॉन विच पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यू लिव इन राइट इन्वायरमेंटल इन्फ्लुएंसेज हाउ एवर सिग्निफिकेंटली मॉडिफाई द फिनोटिपिक एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स ट्रेड मैंने आपको कुछ एग्जाम्पल्स दी हैं इन्होंने भी यहाँ डायबिटीज मैंशन किया है आल्सो दे हैव लिंक डायबिटीज विद ओबेसिटी एंड दैट इज सो ट्रू ओबेसिटी की अपनी जेनेटिक प्रेडिस्पोजिशन भी है राइट so i gave you the general idea and a range of level of severity of a disease is suggestive of a complex multigenic disorder but as pointed out earlier variable expressivity 
reduce penetrance of single mutant gene also may account for this phenomena now this is all not so important for you the basic idea that i discussed in the very beginning of the video which uh, talked about what is a complex disorder what is a multigenic disorder and actually it is very difficult to control these disorders so imagine there is a disorder disorder a and that is caused by this and this and this and this and this and this now you have to control this and this and this and this right it's difficult and that's why it's difficult to manage diabetes that's why it's difficult to manage cancer isn't it so that's all about and and that's an important you may think it's a very subjective philosophical type of debate in the video but uh, um, that's how the concept of complex multigenic disorder has to be generated okay from uh, next video on we will talk about very very important topics which are the cytogenetic disorders in which we'll talk about what happens if there is a change in the number of chromosomes we we all know that our cells have 46 chromosomes right now what happens if they become 47 is it good to have an extra one what happens if they become 45 so that's the next topic and this is what we call cytogenetic disorders stay tuned for more videos take care of yourself